that's the, this cuff. Jonathan, can you tell us about this? Yes. What we've called this is the Link Artifact. And again, the name of the book is Link for many reasons. But we've determined that this, this metal technology is almost like a remote control or a communication device between the user, the person who puts this on, and I say person loosely, the being who wears this, and the people who control him or communicate with him. We believe now, after analyzing exactly what happened with me in the woods and my dog, that Susie most likely knocked this off of the arm of the creature where she was attached to him. Uh -huh. You know, knocking him uh, out of reception, so to speak. And uh, later I found this device kind of under the brush when I was gathering the body up and I, I brought it home. It has been looked at, it has been analyzed, and the results of that are unbelievable, incredible. It, you were saying on the videotape that when you, uh, it's kind of a C shape, and when you put it on your wrist, it forms uh, right into the uh, uh, you know, shape of your own body. Right, it's literally a biological interface that mm -hmm. connects to the wearer with three gold pins that pierce the surface of your skin. Right. and go right into the muscle tissue and nerve tissue. Jonathan, you've had uh, threats on your life. You've had your house ransacked and raided. Everything you owned was taken on you. I mean, talk about the ultimate violation. Well, again, you know, I, I sympathize with people like Dick Clark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who, who come up with a statement trying to get some help, and instead they're violently attacked. And in my case... My, when this started, I had a good job, I had a good education, I was very happy with my life, and within nine days, I had no job, no credibility, no social security card, I had lost thousands and thousands of dollars, and all of my records had been erased. They can do that. Well, we know that for sure. And uh, since then, I have gained some of that information back with the help of several researchers, who are very credible people, uh, Robert O'Dean, Wendell Stevens, Dan McAvoy, Donald Ware. These are professional researchers who spent almost two years with me, following me, going to people who knew me in my past, who helped me with my education, with my work, mm -hmm. who proved that, in fact, Jonathan did exist and that all this was now gone. So I wanted to, to point out that when we do a, a, if you go on the internet and you put your name into Google, you find all kinds of people oh, yeah. saying he's a liar, he's not really who he is, he was never a doctor. It right. must really hurt you to, to realize that people are taking that kind of a personal attack. Well, you know, what's interesting is they're not attacking the evidence. They're no. attacking the character of me. Right. Because if you destroy the character of the witness, then people won't look at you. How sad. Yeah. You know, I often, I often wonder, what is it going to take? I mean, here you have uh, video footage of a craft, footage of a being, uh, you know, an artifact. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, people have been saying for a long time, show me proof. Well, you have shown the world proof. Well, yeah. I believe I, you. I think this is an important fact. But what's very important at this moment is I want to say, this isn't just about me. This is about the thousands and thousands of people all over the world who have had contact, who are afraid to come forward, and now we know why. Because if they do, their lives are literally torn apart. Now, I don't believe this is a U.S. government agency. I think it's a world agency that wants to suppress any kind of information for many, many reasons. This may, in fact, be the truth that literally changes the way we look at everything in our lives. This may collapse some religions and some governmental ideas that have been a foundation of all our lives forever. So this is why I believe they are trying to keep this quiet, to destroy anyone's truth. Right. What I always say is, this is a personal experience. This happened to me and to thousands of other people. This is not a debate. This is just a, a situation where if people want to listen to what happened to one man, then they need to get the facts from the source. They can have their own opinion. Right. Everyone is, is, mm -hmm. has a right to their own opinion. Jonathan, like I said at the beginning, yeah. if it hadn't happened to me, I wouldn't believe it either. Jonathan, we need to wrap up and say good night. Our program has ended. There's one thing that bothers me with the video that you shot on the kitchen floor, yes. and that is 
the eye was <laughs> opening and closing and you said you didn't really realize that until after the video had been shot and uh, you can clearly see that the the guy is alive well exactly yeah and I was so sick during this time he was literally playing possum right from me let me say this I don't have time okay <laughs> Sorry. We're, Sorry. Running, we're running out <laughs> another show <laughs> uh, as Jonathan has been speaking his website has been listed all the time and you can get go there to get a copy of this videotape or uh, Dr. Reed's uh, latest book called Link. Jonathan, we need to say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, and God bless. We'll Thank do you, it again. Jonathan. Well, if that didn't get you something to think about, it's, uh, huh? It's amazing. I don't know what this sells for, but, uh, you know. It's now, in Spanish. It is in but Spanish. But we certainly could understand it all because there but was enough But he's speaking subtitle. English. And he, when he's being uh, interviewed, through he's it, speaking. So you can certainly understand.